Hello friends, I welcome you all to the subject electromagnetic field theory. We have started with chapter number 8 that is magnetic forces, materials and inductance. We have covered the two topics of the title that is magnetic forces and materials. So for magnetic forces we have started with the force on a moving charge. Thereupon we have seen that if a charge is in motion into the surroundings where magnetic field is present the magnetic field exerts a force onto it so that we have calculated into the subsequent lectures. The topic was followed by force on a differential current element. We know that current is nothing but flow of charges. So if the charges are into the motion, so differential current element if we take, it will also be exerted by a force because of presence of magnetic field. Now if the force exerts onto a closed loop, where the current is following a closed path, that topic also we have seen and we have solved several problems onto this concept. So this was the first term into the title magnetic forces, materials and inductance. The second term is the materials what we have seen more specifically to be the magnetic materials of various types where the information regarding the behavior characteristics of all these materials depends on the dipole moment. So in the previous video we have seen magnetization and permeability along with the magnetic dipole moment. We know now that magnetization is the total amount of dipole moment with respect to the volume. Now based on to this concept we have solved one problem also. Thereupon we were provided the information regarding dipole moment, magnetization, magnetic susceptibility which gives us how much a material can be magnetized by application of external magnetic field. So there were magnetic field intensity for calculation and that we have done. Now let us take one more problem where we are going to calculate current density configurations for bound current, the current constituted by free carriers and the total amount of current. So let us take problem. Problem statement is in a magnetic material B bar is equal to 0 0.005 Y square AX gap in Tesla and magnetic susceptibility is equal to 6 for certain region. At Y is equal to 0 0.4 meters find magnitude of J bar, JB bar and JT bar. So here we have three parts to calculate into this problem statement that is magnitude of J bar. So J bar up till now right from the point form of Ampere's uh, circuital law or the current configuration we have, that we have seen into the previous chapter. This we have termed simply to be the current density for a certain conductor which has certain volume. So the conductor we used to show like this and if the current flowing in one direction if we take the cross section here how much current flows through this particular area so that in terms of ampere per meter square we have called to be the current density j bar. For surface current we have the similar notation in terms of k bar in ampere per meter. So now here in the previous video for magnetization and permeability we have discussed about the quantum theory that is at atomic level. We have taken the example electron revolving around the nucleus. So as it is bound to the nucleus it constitutes a current and the current density we can give the uh, notation J suffix B. It is because of the bound current. So bound current is different and the current constituted by the free charge carriers like electrons and holes into the semiconductor materials that is different. So J bar we have uh, to determine for the free charge carriers for bound current we have to determine JB bar and the total that is J suffix capital T bar we have to determine into this problem statement. So let us begin to solve for part A. We have the given data magnetic flux density vector magnetic susceptibility. So for part A we mention magnetic susceptibility given the value 6. The another that is B bar is equal to 0 0.005 Y square a x cap. Now the question is magnitude of J bar is equal to what? 
J bar is current density and from the point for of Ampere circuital law, we know the relation del bar cross of H bar is equal to J bar. Now, if H bar is known to us, then J bar can be determined. Now, in the previous video, we have solved problem number one. So, if we are successful to get magnetic field intensity, it will be like the previous problem where we have determined magnitude of magnetic field intensity given the magnetic susceptibility and magnetic flux density. So, from B bar, we can calculate H bar. So, for that purpose, we need to write the relation B bar is equal to mu times H bar as H bar is unknown here. We take it to the left hand side and write H bar is equal to B bar upon mu. Now B bar we have but we don't have mu. Mu is permeability of the medium but we have magnetic susceptibility where we can express magnetic permeability in terms of magnetic susceptibility. So for that purpose we modify the relation that is H bar is equal to capital B bar and in the denominator instead of mu we mention mu 0 into mu r further we represent mu r by b bar upon mu 0 in bracket 1 plus magnetic susceptibility. So now b bar is with us mu 0 is a constant quantity that we know that is 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 in Henry per meter and magnetic susceptibility is also given with the value 6. So substituting all the values we can get the numerator into the vector form that is 0 0.005 y square ax cap divided by mu 0 we put 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 and it will be 1 plus 6 into the multiplication which gives us the magnetic field intensity vector h bar that is phi u 68 phi u 68.41 0 pi y square ax cap. I can write it separately h bar is equal to phi u 68.410 phi u y square ax cap provided the unit is ampere per meter. So half of our work is completed. We were required to calculate current density j bar and we know the relation J bar can be given in terms of magnetic field intensity by this relation. So if we simply take the curl of the result here, so that time we can get the required answer J bar. So for that purpose, we now apply the curl of H bar. Now H bar, what we have obtained that is in the form of Y square in multiplication with this constant value and AX cap that represents Cartesian coordinate system also called as rectangular coordinate system. So we have to apply the curl formula into the rectangular coordinate system. Hence it will become J bar is equal to del bar cross of H bar which we can further expand to the form. The first bracket will have the partial differentiation with respect to Y for HZ minus partial differentiation with respect to z for hy and the subtraction is multiplied with ax cap. The second term we have del hx upon del z minus we have del del x of hz del del x of hz this is in multiplication with ay cap and the third term here we have del hy upon del x minus del hx divided by del y in multiplication with az. Now h bar we are having this form if h bar is having the form h bar is equal to hx ax cap hy ay cap plus hz az cap we have to substitute these coefficient values. Now this result it is involving only the ax cap it means hy and hz coefficients are equal to 0 and only hx coefficient is available and that we can substitute phi u 68.410 phi u y square. So upon substituting these particular coefficients we can get the result from the second term from the last bracket. So here all the brackets are giving us the resultant equal to 0. 
Though we have HX here, it is having partial differentiation with respect to this head. Hence, the resultant will also be equal to 0. So, this term will give us the result. So, that we can write minus del del y of 568.4105 y square and this is in multiplication with az cap. So this results in to the next step that is j bar is equal to it will be minus 2 into 568.4105 y az cap. Now we are mentioned that we have to that value at y is equal to 0 0.4 magnitude. We get back to the problem statement. This was the problem statement. We were provided magnetic flux density and magnetic susceptibility. So from that we have first of all determined magnetic field intensity h bar and from magnetic field intensity h bar we are having the expression for j bar that is current density. So thereupon we are applying y is equal to 0 0.4 meters of magnitude. So substituting y is equal to 0 0.4 we get j bar is equal to minus 2 into 568.4105 into 0 0.4 we get to the value it will be minus 454.72 84. As this is the magnitude of current density, yes, J bar it is here, so it will be AZ cap. So, as it is the magnitude of current density, we must put the unit ampere per meter square. J bar is cross sectional current density, hence, current divided by the area of the cross section. So, this is the required result of part A. So for part A, we are finished with finding J bar and it has the value this much. Now let us begin to calculate JB bar. For part B, the given data are same. So that is we have magnetic susceptibility is equal to 6. We have B bar is equal to 0 0.005 Y square AX cap in Tesla. Now we require JB bar is equal to what? So for that purpose we know the relation as J bar is determined by del bar cross of H bar. Similarly JB bar the bound current density is determined by the curl of magnetization. Magnetization is the total amount of magnetic dipole moment with respect to the volume of the material. So, magnetization can be substituted here by the multiplication of magnetic susceptibility which is available to us. So, here we can write magnetic susceptibility in multiplication with the del bar cross of h bar to get magnetization. So, this gets us to the form 6 into minus the previous result we can uh, substitute in place of del bar cross of h bar it will be minus 454.7284 in vector form it will be AZ cap and this is in ampere per meter square. So if we require simply the magnitude so that time we can have the multiplication of 6 into this value and it has simply JB mod of JB bar we can get minus 2728.3704 in ampere per meter square. So we get back to the problem statement. In the problem statement, we were asked the three portions A, B and C. So for B part, we have determined the magnitude and it has this value. In the part A and in the part B, I have given the negative sign also that represents actually the direction. So if you absorb it with the unit vector, so that time if magnitude only you need to take, you can take it into the positive. So for part A, you can take the value 454.7284 and for part B, you can take 2728.3704. You can neglect the minus sign. Now 
we have to determine jt bar the total current density now for determination of jt bar we take the relation that we have seen into the previous video magnetization and permeability so for part c we have jt bar is equal to what and we know that jt bar can be determined by taking the curl of capital b bar upon mu zero b bar again we can write into the form that is del bar cross of h bar and in multiplication with mu divided by mu zero as it is which in turn mu upon mu zero gives us mu r so this becomes del bar cross of h bar in multiplication with mu r so here mu is the complete permeability of the medium mu zero is permeability of the free space mu r is relative permeability of the medium denote uh, having the relation mu is equal to mu zero into mu r so we have got the form of equation for jt bar by curl of h bar multiplied by mu r now in the problem statement we have magnetic susceptibility so we need to express mu r in terms of magnetic susceptibility so for that purpose we extend this relation to the form j bar suffix t it will be on the right hand side we can write del bar cross of h bar in multiplication with mu r will be replaced by 1 plus magnetic susceptibility so here the del bar cross of h bar we can get from the result of part a so it was minus 454.728 it is into a z into a x cap as curl is giving us the result into the vector form it will be 1 plus magnetic susceptibility so the next step will be 454.728 seven to eight four in negation in multiplication with one plus six the magnetic susceptibility into a x cap so finally if only magnitude we have to mention it will be minus three one point eight three point it will be three one eight three point zero nine eight eight it will be in ampere per meter square if you have to neglect the negative sign, we can simply mention J suffix T is equal to 3183.0988 ampere per meter square. So this is obtained by having the simple addition into this bracket. It will be 7 multiplied by to this particular value. The AX cap represents the direction here. So simply magnitude, if it is there, we discard AX cap. So this way we are covered with all the three parts A, B and C for problem number two based on to the magnetization and permeability. I hope you have understood calculation of current density of three types if we are provided magnetic flux density and magnetic susceptibility. In the next video, we are going to take the last and the third problem based on to the magnetization and permeability. For getting more information to this subject, electromagnetic field theory, you can subscribe to Ikeda channel. Thank you.